What's up, my children? My beauties. How you guys doing? Hope you were having a... Uh, yeah, I know. Well, you know, I figured it wouldn't work the first time this time. So, or, so uh, I'm very excited to see that my Flash Media Live Encoder has decided to work properly the first try tonight. Because three weeks in a row it crashed when I tried to launch it. So, here I am. I think we uh, got a pretty cool show tonight. Some very interesting mod news, actually, this week. So... Uh, I'm actually going to show you guys uh, a couple things that are going to debut at ECC next week, um, which I will be attending, uh, and hopefully I'll get to see some of you guys there, hopefully. Uh, I know a couple of you are going to be there. Um, and uh, some other couple pieces of interesting mod news. Nothing too, uh, it wasn't too crazy this week, not like the last couple weeks where I got, you know, seven eight different devices out of control um so yeah try uh try refreshing uma that should do it for you um let's see yeah we're gonna do a few reviews as usual we got a special giveaway tonight um we're gonna be reviewing the versa uh dripper which is this little guy here which, uh, you know, we'll give you the proper close-ups when we get to the review. Uh, and from uh, Butters, from LB Mods, um, we are actually going to be giving away a full... I'm, and I'm not going to... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll just open it up right now so you guys can see it. Um, but I'm not going to take it out of the packaging because it's brand new. But a full Versa hybrid kit. So, we'll be giving that away later in the show, which is really exciting. We're also giving away a Pure, which is really exciting. We're giving away a bunch of shoes, as usual, uh, which is also really exciting. Charger. Uh, we're also reviewing the Guardian from Vape Syndicate, which is going to be going on sale officially at ECC. Um, we are going to, this is one that I have been meaning to review for some time, but there was a, a new batch that came out recently and, uh, and I'm reviewing it tonight and that is the Lava Gen. So, um, we'll be reviewing that tonight too. And, uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything. So, well, thank you, Musica. Um... And for those that haven't seen the show before, I apologize if you say something in chat and I miss it. There's a lot I've, uh, There's a lot going on during the show, especially during the reviews. I tend to uh, miss some of the stuff that goes on in chat. Uh, and that's why we do a Q&A session at the end of the show. So if you can hold any questions that you have for me. Uh, I mean, you're welcome to ask them. Somebody in chat might be able to answer, uh, but I may not answer. Um, and if, if not, then, you know, wait until the Q&A session and hopefully... You'll either have written it down or remember by then. So, anyway, um, let's get started with a giveaway from Alice in Vapeland. Um, and as you guys know, we are doing the, the giveaways a little bit different now. Hold on. There we go. So, uh, with the giveaways, instead of picking a random number... Uh, what we are going to do because the, you know, the audience has grown so big. I mean, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's because the show's gotten so big that we have to do this, but we're just going to, um, refresh the, uh, list of people in the room and then plug everybody into a random list reorganizer and whoever is number one wins. And if the person who is number one does not want the prize, it moves on to the person who is number two. Uh, and the way that the prizes work is you can win one uh, juice or um, RTD uh, vapor prize per show and you can also win one uh, mod per show so if you you can't win more than one of either though so if you win a juice you can still participate in the pure giveaway or the versa giveaway um, and vice versa but you can't win both mods or more than one juice so hopefully that's clear 
Um, it's pretty confusing to me, and I'm the one that said it. So, uh, let's see. I'm gonna do a refresh right now. See how many. You know, see what's in the room, and uh, put it into the generator. So, let's see here. There we go. And boom. FSU fan 451. Unless you would like to pass, uh, let me know if you want to pass or if you want the prize. But you just won a $13.10 gift certificate to Alice in Vapeland, um, which is enough to buy a bottle of juice and also pay for shipping. Uh, unless you do not want it, in which case it'll go on to the person in second. So uh, please let me know in chat in the next few seconds. Um, but Allison Vapeland, if you're not familiar with them, they have awesome juice. Um, a couple of their juices are, are actually some of my all-time favorites, like uh, Zombie Apocalypse and Quiet Morning. And um, Where are you, FSU fan? I need you to confirm that you want the prize, please. Or do not want the prize. All right, very good, congratulations. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you an email, or I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna send you a message in chat with my email address, you'll see it come over here in just a second. And um, what you're gonna do is just send me an email um, with the subject, Allison Vapeland giveaway, and uh, I will forward your email address onto Allison Vapeland and they will actually be sending you a, uh, a coupon code uh, that's good for the $13.10. So, here you go. There's my email address. Congratulations. And uh, let's jump into mod news then. All right. Let's see here. So, first up, mod news. The Pravari Chrome, or the polished Pravari, or Pravari, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is available from ProVape. I'm going to give you the website in just a sec. So, for those of you that are Pravari fans, uh, this one will be available. Let's see if you can guess when the launch date is. Uh, obviously, September 17th. Um, looks pretty nice. Uh, I don't know if they're making any changes to it other than the finish. Um, it does not appear as though they are. I think it would be, they probably would make a bigger deal out of it if this were going to be like the V3. Um, which is really what I'm hoping they're they're working on right now, because at this point, in my personal opinion, I think the Proveri is a very, very nice, very well-made device, but um, the electronics are just way um, outdated now. So um, hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll be coming out with a new Proveri soon that's either got a DNA 20 or some other kind of variable wattage uh, controls, so... Let's see. Um, what is up? Oh, okay. I know what's up next. So, this one I'm going to spend a little bit more time on um, than usual. So, this device that I'm going to show you guys right now, actually, I'm not going to do a review, but I'm going to do a kind of a, a little bit of an extended mod news segment on this. So this device I'm going to show you here in just a sec is called the Dominus by Dominus Mods. I'm going to give you two links, okay? One is for Dominus Mods. Let me mute my phone. Hold on a sec. So that's Dominus Mods, and then also uh, I am going to give you a link for VapeRev. The reason being, this is going to be available exclusively at VapeRev, okay? 
um, and we'll show you here in just a sec. So uh, it's a stainless steel mechanical mod with a fire with a side firing magnetic switch, and it has a spring-loaded self-adjusting negative post to allow for different battery size tolerances. It's not a telescope though; it's segmented three-tube configuration, so you can use 18350, 18500, or 18650, um, and it is made in California by Dominus Mods. It's going to be released at the first day of ECC, uh, which is next Friday. Uh, it's going to be available at ECC, exclusively sold at Vape Rev, uh, moving forward. And here it is. So this right here, and I am going to do a little close-up with this real quick. So hold on a sec. So first off, this is the Dominus mod. Like I said, it is side firing. So it's got the side button here, kind of like the GGTS with that little lock on it. Nice smooth little button there. Um, it has a, and let's do some more closer close up. Um, it has the engraving on the bottom with the serial number and their little logo. The top cap has a juice well and it has a 510 crown. So it's got the airflow through the sides as you can see uh, if you use a standard 510 atomizer. And then if you're using something like a Penelope or an Odysseus, it also has small air holes in the side. Okay. And then, like I said, it's segmented. So you can take sections of this off. And we'll take the top cap off. And now all of a sudden it is 18350. Or I'm sorry, 18500. I just took the 650 to 500 extension off, or 500 to 650 extension off, as you can see. And then you can also remove... Um, you remove this second segment here, and that'll make it 18350. Let me put that little tube back on. Um, and I have not used this yet. This is just, like I said, kind of an extended mod news segment. Uh, um, and I'll be honest, they actually asked me to show this on the show tonight. Um, because, and uh, don't get mad, but there will not be a show next week. I know, sorry. Um, I'm going to be heading to California, so... Um, and then, and this is the interesting part of this design, and I, I hope that this does not lead to voltage loss, but it looks like it's really well designed from what I can tell. But this is the uh, negative post, and as you can see, it's spring-loaded, so it'll fit, and it, it moves a lot, too, so this will probably fit, you know, NCR batteries, protected batteries, AW batteries, no problem. It's got quite a bit of give uh, in there, as you can see. So, looks pretty interesting. I, like I said, I have not tried it out yet, but, um, you know, I will be reviewing this after I get back from California. Um, and it looks really nice. And it also comes with a little uh, instruction manual. That's got some information in there. And you also get a couple of extra bits. It comes with uh, extra washer extra screw uh, which looks like it's for the inside of the switch or an, uh, I'm sorry extra magnet extra screw and then uh, an extra spring in there too so it does come with some spare parts as well and uh, yeah so that it looks pretty cool that's the Dominus by Dominus Mods it's like I said it's going to be released at ECC next week and uh, the retail price on it is going to be 210 bucks and that is for uh, a mod that will accept all three battery sizes, so uh, which is pretty much in line with with other segmented um, mods like the Templar and the Chiyu and the Origin. They're all right around that kind of 200 to 240 range. Um, so yeah, so that is the Dominus. Let's see, what do we have up next? Next up, 
we have now this is one that i've actually reviewed on the show already as uh those who've been watching the show for a while know but the reason i wanted to bring this up in mod news is because a second list is open now for the point mod which was once called the my point but is now called the point there's the link if you're a member on vaporwall and you're interested in getting one of these and it is a mod that i liked a lot uh, in fact, it's my favorite, um, most uh, well-performing uh, touch sensor mod that I've ever used. Uh, it's 20 millimeter. Um, and like I said, the list is open right now. So if you want to get on the list, head over there, pop your name on there. Um, I love mine. I still use mine. Um, it's available, in, and just to give you a quick rundown, it's available in three combinations. There's a full stainless steel, full brass, uh, and then you can get a mix uh, brass tube and, and stainless steel caps. The lock ring is stainless. Um, if you get the stainless steel, oh no, I'm sorry, the lock ring is always stainless steel and can be gold plated. Um, it's 20 millimeter by 59 millimeter. Um, in 350, 74 millimeter tall in 500, and 89 millimeter tall in 650 mode. It's very light. The metal is thin because it's 20 millimeter. Uh, it weighs between 37 and 47 grams. You can get it custom engraved with whatever, basically any vector image you want uh, engraved on there. And it can either be, uh, the engraving can either be black, uh, matte finish, or gold plated. Um, but he will only do the engraving and the custom uh, finish on stainless steel tubes with the engraving. Uh, I think with the um, brass tubes, if you get an engraving, it's just the natural finish of the engraving. Um, and like I said, it's very, very touch, sen you know, the, sen the sensitivity of the touch switch is, is impressive. I don't have any of that dry finger problem like I have had with other touch switches. Um, the voltage loss is very, very low on it. Um, I've used, I have used low ohm coils on it as well and had no problems at all. And from what I understand, it, it's rated this hand to handle up to 25 amps. So, uh, even though it does have the electronics in it, it's definitely, uh, you know, a high performance device. So price on it is, it's not cheap. It's 139 euro. Um, and, but I do believe that includes the engraving. Uh, and then that's not including shipping, which is 10 euros within Europe and 25 euros for EMS and rest of the world. So, um, so there you go. That is the point touch mod, which again, the reason why I'm talking about it right now is the list is open. Another device that we have coming out soon This is the Copperhead from John Boy USMC, and I'll be reviewing his uh, Lava Gen here in just a little bit. So, the Copperhead is a 22 millimeter mod and hybrid Addy. Uh, it's set up for single coil, single three millimeter wick hole. Uh, has silver plated positive connection. Um, the entire battery con uh, section is made out of a copper alloy 101, and it's oxygen free. Uh, so it's not going to turn your hands green, from what I understand. Uh, final finish is yet to be determined. Uh, and the juice capacity has not been tested yet, but it also does have a threaded top cap. So we're still a little ways away from this, but I'll be reviewing one of these in the, in the near future as well. So uh, very excited about this little guy. Well, not so little guy, but <laughs> it's interesting looking hybrid. So the copper I find intriguing. It's probably going to hit like a truck, so. Um, let's see. What else do we have for mod news? So, now this is uh, not as much news, because uh, people are getting these already, and my, in fact, mine is stuck in customs right now. But uh, this is the Origin Dripper. The reason why I brought this up is a list reopened this week the second list opened this week the reserve list is still open so if you want to sign up for one of these if you haven't gotten one yet and you're interested in getting one you want to get on the list 
The reserve list is still open, even though the second list, the short list for the second list is technically full. So uh, I would hop on that. Um, the, for everything that I have heard from friends that have got, I've tr you know, I always try to avoid hearing information about stuff before I have a chance to review it. But, you know, I get PMs from people that are like, dude, did you get your so-and-so yet? Oh my God, it's awesome. You know, and that's pretty much, pretty much everyone that I know that's gotten the origin, uh, dripper so far has said that to me and told me that this thing is a game changer for drippers. So, uh, I guess it's kind of like a Genesis style dripper. Um, but you know, we'll see once I, once I get it. And like I said, mine's been stuck in customs since last week. So we'll see, we'll get it eventually. But anyway, um, yes, Tom, you're one of them, but you're, you're one of many, Tom. Uh, so anyway, the deal with the origin dripper, um, it's 55 euro. Uh, you can also get a, the drip tip for it for an extra 10 euro, and shipping is 10 euro. So the price on it's pretty reasonable. Uh, you know, it costs the same as buying some of the American drippers uh, or the uh, American-made drippers or Philippine-made stuff that's coming through uh, California. Um, and the kit includes some extra stuff. You get uh, spare O-rings for the body, spare O-rings for the top cap, spare insulators, uh, spare screws. You get an Allen key, uh, silica wick, and uh, canthal wire. So, um, oh no, I'm sorry, they changed it. There's no silica and canthal included because everybody uses different sizes and they said it wasn't worth it. So uh, they included extra O-rings instead. Let's see. Yeah, and it shipped quickly as well for everyone that wasn't me. Um, Let's see. And we have another one. There's another device that is available right now as well. The Gamma Tank V2 from Budsworks. The pre-order is open right now and is open until Saturday. Yes, is open until Saturday. Here is the link. Um... So it's Vapor Bombs Vegas. They're doing the pre-order for the Gamma Tank V2 from Budsworks. Um, looks pretty cool. I wish I had a little bit better picture. The the resolution's a little low on the picture, but it has it's a Genesis with adjustable airflow. Um, it's uh, CNC made, and uh, it's made by Bud, Budsworks, the makers of the ERA, uh, and obviously the Gamma Tank V1. Uh, and the Hornet and some other products as well. So, you know, they're very, very well known for their drippers, but, um, you know, the, the Gamma Tank V1, uh, I never tried it. Uh, I heard mixed reviews about it, but apparently they fixed some of the issues with it with the V2. So, uh, I'm, I'm definitely interested in the V2. Cost on it's 200 bucks, including shipping. So it's certainly not cheap, uh, but the pre-order, like I said, is open now. Link is in chat if you're interested in getting in the pre-order. Uh, and then the link is also at the bottom of the screen, too. And I spilled water on myself. All right. I am going to take a vape. And then we're going to do another giveaway. All right, so um, let's see here. What are we going to give away? Let's give away, you know what? I'm just going to keep all the giveaways this week. <laughs> um, so we are going to give away from Vapor Craze 60, 6D, not 16, 60 milliliters of juice uh, four different 15 milliliter bottles. The flavors are picked randomly. The nicotine level is your choice. Um, and, uh, hold on one sec. All right. So what we're going to do, like I said before, we're going to grab the list of people in the room and, uh, we're going to use the random, uh, list reorganizer. And, 
if you win and you don't want it, let me know and it'll get passed on to the next person. So, here we go. Hey, hey, Faceless. All right, Face. Let me know if you want it or you want to pass to Uma. Pass. All right. There you go. Congratulations, Uma. Unless Uma wants to pass, too. Modders. Yeah, exactly. That was a funny show, Butters. Um, so, yeah, a couple months ago, we actually had a show where we gave away two mods, and two modders won uh, the mods that were given away on the show. It was pretty funny. So, Uma. Where are you, Uma? I know you're in chat. You were just talking a second ago. All right. Congratulations. I'm going to send you a message in chat uh, with my email address. All you got to do is send me an email with your shipping address and the nicotine level that you want, please. And I will send that on to Vapor Craze and they will get 60 milliliters of juice out to you ASAP. Congratulations. All right. And... There is my email address, Uma. Um, it'll it'll be mixed in there with all of the congrats. <laughs> so, all right. Um, do want to mention real quick? Uh, we're getting really close to Va Vape Toberfest, uh, which is on the 18th and the 19th of October. So just over a month away. Uh, big event that Vapor Craze is putting on down in Long Beach. Uh, sounds like it's going to be a good time. It's a really big venue, um, and there are going to be a lot of vendors there. And uh, you should check out the site if you're interested in maybe attending. It's Vaptober Vaptoberfest.com, right there, Vaptoberfest.com, and uh, it should be a good time. I, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to make it, but um, just because I'm actually going to be coming back in town on the 19th, but. Um, but it does look like it'll be an awesome time. So, let's see. Let's give away some more stuff. Um, next up, we are going to do a giveaway from RTD Vapor. There we go. Oops. Nope. That's not RTD Vapor. That's RTD Vapor. There we go. So, from RTD Vapor, we're giving away a charger. It's an XTAR WP22, uh, which is one of the better chargers on the market. Uh, in my opinion, comes with spacers, so you can use it with different size batteries. Um, and it's got uh, adjustable amperage for different batteries as well. You can fit, vast majority of batteries will fit in there. So, um, let's see. I'm gonna refresh the list of people in the room. And let's see here. Reset the randomizer. And randomize. Boom. Nice. Modders winning shit again. <laughs> Dino, do you want the charger or do you want to pass? All right, Dino passing. Phoenix, Phoenix 111978. The charger is yours if you want it. Let me know if you want it or you would like to pass. Yes, all right, awesome. It sounds, well, an exuberant yes, all caps and exclamation points. Somebody needed a charger, so I'm very happy that you won. Congratulations, Phoenix. Uh, I am going to send you a message in chat with my email address. All you got to do is just send me an email with your shipping address and I will send that on to RTD Vapor uh, and they will have that on to you shortly. So, 
congrats and thank you for your generosity, Dino, and passing. Uh, if it was a Versa Dripper, he wouldn't pass. <laughs> All right. There you go, Phoenix. There is my uh, email address, so just shoot me your uh, shipping address when you have a second, please. All right, awesome. Oh, this is so much easier than the old giveaway method. I hope I hope there aren't too many people that uh, that miss the the random number picking. I mean, that was fun and all, but man, that took forever uh, with a lot of people in the room. So let's see, what are we going to do next? We are going to talk about bait mail. So. Um, I got a few th interesting things in the mail. Um, all right, nice. It seems the general consensus is that this is much better. So, uh, I got a few things in the mail this week. Not a ton of stuff. Actually, I only got two nude things that I'm going to be reviewing in the mail this week. And I also had something that I got before last week's show and I had so much stuff that I forgot to show it so I do want to mention it real quick so first off let's do that um, and that is the Odachi okay this is from Ninja Mods a little brass switch on the bottom um, pretty nice looking little hybrid I have to say it looks like it's very sturdy the, uh, the thickness of the glass on this thing is just ridiculous I mean I don't imagine that that glass is going to be breaking anytime soon, but it has, uh, you know, it has this uh, airflow control ring, but the airflow control ring is removable, so it's really easy to set up. It's got a nice small chamber, and then you just pop the airflow control ring back on there, and uh, and then you put the top cap back on, and then you can adjust the airflow, and you can see the little where the little hole lines up there on the inside of that slot and that's your airflow so it's kind of similar to the uh, the way that the airflow control worked on the wand if you're familiar with that so um, but it but that ring being removable uh, makes it a lot easier to set up you don't have to work around that airflow control ring uh, similar to the way that the black rhino airflow control ring works so so there you have it that is the odachi we'll be reviewing that very soon and then obviously the Dominus, which we already showed you guys. So just want to mention that again. It does look a little busy, but I have to say that switch assembly looks really, really cool and well designed. So I'm pretty excited to test this little guy out. Um, so there's that. And last but certainly not least. Um, so I am not showing you a Caravella and I am not showing you a Hellfire Mini. But what I did get is I got a sat burn cap. So if you're not familiar with the sat burn caps, uh, sat burn is a fellow that does custom uh, products for other mods. And as you can see, I need a new O-ring in the uh, Hellfire Mini there. But um, he does custom top caps and uh, he's also working on some of his own devices. But basically this top cap is designed to be put on a 22 or a 22 millimeter device with 20 by one threading and it allows you to this one's specifically made for 16 millimeter devices but the atomizer actually so it, it tapers obviously and then it's got a um a well that the atomizer sits in so it sits flush and it looks really nice um and it you know it makes the Hellfire Mini look absolutely fantastic on top of uh, on top of a twenty a twenty two millimeter device like the Caravella, and then also has this absolutely fantastic telescoping pin. And the way the telescoping pin works on this is the part that's in contact with the atomizer is press fit. So basically, you screw the atomizer down in all the way, and then you just push on that until it makes contact. And then this little flat piece unscrews and that's what's going to prevent the battery rattle and be in touch with the top of the battery really really nice um and the threads on it are, are smooth as butter and it looks absolutely fantastic and it matches up really well with the caravella tube so uh and i actually got a couple of these i got one for um 20 
millimeter, uh, 16 millimeter, and then I also got a uh, a 21 millimeter that I popped my uh, my bliss on top of. So anyway, so that's the sat burn cap. Really cool. I might actually I might actually do like a mini review of that. I was thinking about maybe do it. So uh, you know, why don't actually I'll get a little feedback from you guys if you. Um, would you guys be interested in me doing like a couple of short reviews on st like accessory type stuff like uh, drip tips and uh, you know like sat burn caps and other stuff like that? Is that of is that of interest at all? Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, I would, you know, I would, what I was thinking of doing is maybe, you know, a couple times just to mix it up a little bit, do like, you know, two mods or two addies or a mod and an addy. And then for the third review, actually do, review like a couple different, you know, um, you know, drip tips and accessories and stuff like that. So mix it up a little bit. Okay, cool. Well, we'll do that then. So, um, yeah, and I think that's it for, uh, that's it for mod news. Um, how are we doing on time here? All right, we're looking good. So let's give away some more stuff. Next giveaway. This is going to be from E6 Vapors. Uh, it's a sample pack. Uh, six, six milliliter bottles. So it's a pretty big sample pack. It's 36 milliliters of juice in total. You get to pick the six flavors that you want and the nicotine level. And if you need a custom VGPG ratio, uh, you can also request that too. Um, so, and Jedi with the uh, link for you there. That's the E6 Vapors website. Hold on one sec. Let's see what we got in the room. Okay. Random generator says randomize. TK421 finally has won something on the show. Congratulations, TK. The person who complains about the random number generator more than anyone else is finally victorious. Congrats. Watch, he's going to pass. <laughs> nope, didn't pass. I had a feeling. Congrats, TK. Um, so, yeah, you just won 36 milliliters of uh, juice from E6 Vapors. Um, I highly recommend you try Legend. That is my favorite. Uh, they have a lot of good flavors over there, though. So other than, you know, I would definitely put Legend on the list. So other than that, you know, just pick what sounds good. So I am going to send you a message in chat with my email address. All you got to do is go to the E6 Vapors website, which Jedi is going to throw another link up here for you in just a sec. Go to the website, pick out the six flavors you want. And send me an email with the six flavors, the nicotine level you want. If you need a custom VGPG ratio, put that in there as well. And then uh, also make sure you include your shipping address in the email too. So congratulations, sir. Um, all right. Awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you finally won, TK. So, let's see. What do we got up next? Uh, we are going to do... We're going to do a review. That's what we're going to do next. So. There we go. <laughs> First, we are going to talk about the Versa Dripper. And I'm going to take a couple drags first because I need a bait. Ah, oh, that's better. 
All right, so. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, Ghost. Um, the Versa Dripper. So, first off, let me give you a link to the uh, U.S. branch of LB Mods. This is their Facebook page, or their Facebook group. So there's, there is a Versa Hybrid, there is a Versa Mod, and there is a Versa Addy, and there's a Versa Dripper, okay? Um, I know that's confusing. It's not really, though. So the Atomizer comes in either a 510 connection, like a standard Atomizer, or you can get it as part of a hybrid where it has a threaded bottom that threads onto 20 by one threaded 22 millimeter mod, like the Versa mod. So if you have a Versa mod and you have a hybrid Versa Addy, you have a Versa hybrid. Um, and then with the Versa dripper, you have a couple different options with that as well. You can actually turn your Versa mod into a Versa dripper hybrid, which is what this is. There is no 510 connection here, and we'll show this to you up close in, in a little bit, but as you can see, that's threaded directly onto the battery, t or the, the tube here, okay? Um, and you also can get a 510 version of the dripper. The hybrid version is 100 bucks. The 510 version is 90 bucks. Uh, in British pounds, it's 65 and 60. Um, all of the drippers are made of 304 stainless steel. They're 22 millimeter diameter. Uh, they have a reduced chamber internally. Um, it's uh, lead-free brass used in the knurled nut on the inside. Um, the O-rings are 20 millimeter outer diameter. Uh, like I said, it's 20 by one threading. The total height is 28.8 millimeters. Um, and from the tube, the base of the tube to the top cap, so not including the threading on the bottom, it's 24 millimeter. Um, and the hybrid post on it is three millimeter telescoping. Uh, the 510 drippers are slightly taller by only like thousands of an inch. Um, and it comes standard with a one millimeter air hole, uh, which is a very tight draw. Um, I actually like the draw. I my my sweet spot is between one mil and one point two millimeter. Typically, uh, more than that gets a little airier than I like, and I feel like you lose a little bit of flavor. Uh, so I really like the one millimeter. But the reason why I did the one millimeter is so it'll appeal to everyone because if you, it's harder to make a it, a hole smaller than it is to make a hole larger. So if you like one millimeter, you're fine with it standard. If you like something larger, you can bore it out yourself or you can have someone, you know, you can have it professionally done to increase the size of the air hole. So uh, that is why the stock air hole on it is one millimeter. Um, let's, so let's take a look at this guy. Close up time. So. The Versa Dripper, and like I said, this is the hybrid version of the Versa Dripper, okay? It's got that chamfer on the top cap. It's got a very clean look. It's got a brushed finish, machine finish, or no, it's brush finish, not machine finish. You can see it's threaded on the bottom, and then there is the brass screw, uh, three millimeter screw that's gonna connect to the top of the battery inside the battery tube. Uh, and that obviously you can adjust for the height of the battery. Um, no issues with any, you know, any standard 510 drip tips fitting in the top cap. They all fit nice and snug. No problems with it falling out or anything like that. Um, under the top cap, let me screw this back on here. The top cap is quite snug. Um, so if we hold it by the top cap and, you know, shake it around, it's not going anywhere. It takes quite a bit of pull to get it off, but it's not ridiculous. Uh, it's got a double O-ring. Top O-ring will keep the juice from getting down 
And the second O-ring is just to give you some additional security and help hold it on a little bit tighter. You can see the reduced uh, inside of the top cap there. If you look at it from the side, it's more obvious. So it's much, much taller on the outside than it is on the inside. You can see the how thick the metal is on the very top of the top cap. It's been reduced quite a bit. Okay, and there's a little bit of gunk from the juice in there. Um, so the top cap is wide, but, uh, but quite short, um, to help keep the vapor warm and flavorful by reducing the amount of air, um, or the amount of space in which the, uh, vapor has to circulate, cool off and lose flavor. Um, on the inside of the atomizer, you have pretty straightforward setup. Now this is a little bit different than the final version that's hitting the market. The final version is actually gonna have a little bit shorter uh, positive post, so it's gonna be a little bit easier to set up according to Butters, but honestly, uh, even this version that is apparently harder to set up, I didn't have any problem setting it up and I'm not, I'm not saying that to brag, I'm saying that because I don't think this is a difficult device to set it up at all. And if it's going to be easier, I think that it'll be kind of a cakewalk. So uh, I set this up with, as you can see, a stainless steel mesh wick. And uh, I set it up with um, flat canthal wire there. So, uh, and as I mentioned, the brass post and also the brass knurled nut that are in there are naval brass. They're lead free. Uh, so it's a thumb screw. And then you have a flathead screw for the negative post, so you don't have, um, you know, you don't have to fiddle around with any uh, Allen keys or anything. Um, super easy, and it's large enough on the inside um, that you can actually set it up. You can actually make the U-Wick solid, uh, which is something that I actually liked about the Senio dripper as well. So, you know, a solid U-Wick holds, that'll soak up a lot of juice. Um, you know, because most of the time when you make a U-Wick, you want to, you know, if, if you make it solid, it'll kink when you bend it. But because it's 22 millimeter diameter, you have a little extra room and it's not going to kink. Okay. And as you can see, it has a lip around the outside as well to help hold the juice inside the well. I find it holds about, you know, typically about 15 drops. Uh, 15 big drops from like a glass dripper, uh, a glass dropper, I should say. Uh, more than that, if you're using like a needle top bottle. And uh, so it holds a decent amount of juice. And then when you put the top cap on, you're just going to line the air hole up with where you have the wick, like you do on a Genesis. And this is really made for, um, you know, a mesh uh, wick. The, it's a dripper that's designed for a mesh wick, much like the Hellfire. Um, you'll notice similarities underneath the top cap to the Hellfire, which is, you know, in the, the Senio dripper, same thing. Um, they're really made for uh, use with a, a single coil mesh setup uh, rather than, you know, a multi coil. Um, eco wool or cotton or uh, silica setup. So, take a drag here. Mm. Um. I think it looks nice as far as the appearance goes. I think it's a nice looking device. Um, it has a really nice finish on it. I didn't have any marks or scratches or anything on it when I got it. It's got that real nice uh, kind of light brushed finish, kind of, you know, pretty much just like the Versa uh, mod does. Um, it's nice and sturdy. The metal feels thick and it feels well made. Um, you know, as you're assembling it uh, internally and you're building your coils and everything, there's nothing, nothing's wobbly. Uh, you know, with some devices, things feel a little bit loose until you tighten the screws down. That's not the case with this. It feels very sturdy. Um, 
like I said, it's easy to set up, and apparently it's going to be even easier with the newest uh, version, the final version, rather. Um, and the quality of the vape, it's very, very good. Uh, I've gotten a lot more into dripping lately, um, you know, and I'm spoiled. The, you know, the, the main reason why, to be honest, was because I got a Hellfire Dripper and absolutely fell in love with that. Between that and the, uh, the Griffin uh, dripper. They're just, you know, phenomenal devices. And, um, I find that they give a warmer, more flavorful vape than, um, than a Genesis, even a smaller Genesis, uh, device does. Um, you know, the, the Nawal and the mini micro and the, and the Hellfire mini get real close, but I feel like, uh, in my experience, the dripper still gives you a little bit more flavor and a little bit more, uh, warmth, which I really enjoy. This device is, um, for me, in comparison to the other drippers that I've used, it's somewhere in between the where the Hellfire and the Griffin are and where the Senio is. And I liked the Senio a lot. So, it, and I think that performance-wise, this is a step up from there, but not quite at the same level and and bear in mind i'm 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 talking in you know very very minute increments here uh but you know the hellfire and the griffin i think are just a little bit of a step up warmth and flavor wise from this device this device is is excellent as well but not quite on that level and then the senio is like a step below that uh, you know, and then the other drippers, you get into like the silica and eco wool style stuff with multi coils. And that's kind of a different, um, you know, that's kind of a different playing field. So as far as the, you know, the drippers that are really designed for a Genesis style setup with a mesh wick and, um, and coil, um, you know, this is, this is right up there. Like I said, you know, the performance I got from the Senio Dripper is really, really good. This is a step up from that just below Hellfire Griffin, which are my two favorite drippers of all time. So, uh, so obviously, I like this a lot. It performs very well. Um, I, I think it looks nice. The 22 millimeter, I think, is where the difference in the, in the flavor is. Um, because the other two devices are obviously smaller, so there's less room inside the cap. Uh, one's 20 millimeter, the other's 18 millimeter. Uh, and this being a 22, he was still able to get the good flavor and warmth um, by reducing the height of the inside of the chamber rather than reducing the uh, diameter of the inside of the chamber. So hopefully that'll make sense. Um, yeah, so. Um, so yeah, like I said, I think it's excellent. I really enjoy it. Uh, it's a good vape. I like, I actually like the draw where it is, even though if you, you know, it's, it's made this size so that if you want to bore it out, you can, but I actually like it at one millimeter. The flavor and the warmth I think are, are just right. If you go any tighter with the draw, it's just too tight. And it's like, you know, you're sucking on it. Like, you know, but with one millimeter, it's a tight draw, but not too tight, and you still get a ton of flavor, and you still get a decent amount of vapor. I mean, you can see the vapor production from this. It's not, you know, stupid plumes like uh, like what you saw when I did the Omega review, um, but it's still good vapor production here. So it's still good vapor. And very, very warm and very, very flavorful, which is what I really look for. So I definitely recommend the device. Um, I think it's well made and I think that it's a nice vape. Um, you know, like I said, has some similarities to the Hellfire and the Senio. Um, and I think it's kind of somewhere in between those two as far as the performance goes so there you have it that is the versa dripper from lb mods um the hybrid connection version of the versa dripper from from uh, lb mods so what we're gonna do now before we keep going is 
we are actually going to give away something from Versa, uh, or from LB Mods, and that is the first mod giveaway for tonight. Hold on. Where is it? That is a Versa Hybrid, which I showed you guys earlier. I'm not going to open it up. It's brand new. It's still in the wrap. It's still in the uh, bubble wrap. You can see the Allen key in there and the extra O-rings. And this is a full Versa Hybrid kit with both top caps. Um, if you haven't seen the Versa Hybrid, I did the review uh, a few weeks back, and it's on my YouTube channel. Um, so... You should watch the review. It's an awesome hybrid. Um, I like it a lot. So, um, hold on a sec. Let's reload the room, get the list of attendees. Let's see who's going to win the Versa hybrid. Of course, the music goes quiet. All right, here's the list. Here we come. Ingline. <laughs> I'm guessing Ingline's going to want it because he just posted fingers crossed in chat. Unless you want to pass, you can always pass. All right, congratulations, Engline. Congrats. This is a really nice hybrid. I think you're going to be very pleased. Uh, I am going to send you a message in chat here in just a sec. Congratulations. Um, where are you? There you are. All right. So this has my email address. All you got to do is just send me an email with your shipping address, and we'll get this out to you right away. So here it comes. Try to find it in between all of the congratulations, and uh, congratulations from me as well. Thank you, uh, Butters and LB Mods, for doing the giveaway. Awesome stuff. Um, and thank you for, uh, for making some good quality performing devices. So... Um, Let's see. What are we going to do next? I know what we're going to do next. We're going to do another we're going to do another giveaway. We're going to do another big giveaway. We're throwing them out back to back tonight. And we're going to do a giveaway for my hybrid mods next. Hey Jay Gator. So, iHybrid Mods giveaway. We are giving away a brand new pure hybrid from iHybrid Mods. Um, hold on one sec. Okay. Let's do a refresh on the room. Going by the current list now. Get ready. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to take a vape before I hit the button. I'll let you guys sweat it out. <laughs> All right. So, here we go. Griff, Griff, you just won yourself a, uh, a pure for my hybrid mods. Unless you want to pass. <laughs> Bingo, he says. Congratulations, Griff. All right, I'm gonna send you a message real quick with your uh, or with my email address. Just send me your shipping address, and actually, um, Faceless and I are, are doing it a little bit different now. He's actually shipping the peers out 
Um, so I'll send your shipping address over to him, and you'll have a package coming from him shortly. So here comes my email address. Congrats, Griff. And there you go. There is my email. Nice, and Faceless is going to send it tomorrow. So Faceless, before I uh, before I keep going with the show. Um, I just want to talk about your stuff real quick, uh, or actually I just have a question for you, for everybody. Do you have anything that you are going to be releasing at ECC that you can tell us about? Oh, interesting. Nice. So the new mechanical, the tiara, and the name is pending. Awesome. I know the 911i hybrid's coming soon, too. So that's sweet, man. All right. Well, uh, I'll, I'll probably be buying one <laughs> if, if they don't sell out real quick. Awesome. So yeah, ECC next week. I'm gonna be there. Um, I will not be. And, and uh, just so you guys know, now that we got pretty much a full room, I want to let you all know. Um, while I'm taking kind of a, a second break here, there will no, there will not be a show next week. Uh, sorry, I will miss all of you, but I, um, I'm not gonna have time to do the show. I got to pack Wednesday night, and then I'm leaving Thursday uh, for California for the ECC. Uh, conference out that way so I got to fly to the opposite end of the country on Thursday so so no show Wednesday next week but we will be back the following week uh, with uh, stories about ECC to tell uh, tales of drunken debauchery uh, I'll try to get some uh, some naked pics of Doc Dave and Faceless for you guys and um, yeah so Anyway, all right, cool. Let's move on. Yeah, let Dino do the show. That'll go well. <laughs> um, the Bronx Bomber. Hold on, let's see. What do we got up next? We're going to do another review. We're going to talk about the Guardian next. So... The Guardian. This is so I'm gonna you know I'll show you the close-ups here in just a minute. This is the Guardian in 18650 mode. I've actually got a titanium vape syndicate drip tip on there as well. Um, but I'll show you all the different parts and the packaging and everything when we do close-up. Actually, first off, before we do close-up, I want to tell you the packaging that this thing comes in is badass. So it comes in a case that's closed up with red evidence tape. I obviously I had to remove the tape to open it, but it comes in this black vape syndicate carrying case, and the thing was sealed up with uh, red evidence tape. It looked awesome. And then you pop it open, and inside you've got egg sh uh, or egg crate and the slots for the different pieces of your um, of your Guardian in here. So you get a nice handy-dandy little carrying case, really, really nice packaging. Um, and it's got the Vape Syndicate logo on there, and I love the evidence tape on it, too. It's pretty sweet. So, um, so the Guardian, the full kit for the Guardian... Is 475 bucks. It is not cheap. Um, but it comes with a lot of stuff and it's high grade titanium. So the materials are very expensive that go into this device. Uh, like I said, it's made by Vape Syndicate. Um, it is a hybrid. It is also a mod. It comes with multiple battery tubes. Uh, and it has some really cool features that we'll, we'll show you guys here in just a bit. So yeah, 
It is not a not a cheap device, but this is uh, you know, uh, like I said, you know the 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 quality of the the craftsmanship and the quality of the materials used is extremely high end, and that's where you get the price point. So um, it is so features. It is the first um, ceramic sheathed center post on a Genesis atomizer, from what I understand. Um, it is the first Genesis atomizer, uh, the atomizer portion of the hybrid, um, with a vented negative terminal. I'll show you what that means when I open up the device. Uh, it's the first gen Genesis with staggered air holes. Uh, it has a 0.7 millimeter and a 1.2 millimeter air hole. Um, the top cap is very reduced. Um, the glass is polished and stress relieved for maximum durability. It's also shielded. We'll show you that in a little bit. It comes with, uh, you can set it up with single, dual, or U WIC. 18500 and 18650 tubes included. 510 cap is included as, as well. Uh, it's got a lossless recessed magnet button. Um, the. Uh, the glass size on it is actually the standard uh, size glass tank that's used on the iHybrid standard, the Z-Addy Pro, Z-Addy U, uh, Zenesis standard. So uh, it's easy to replace. Um, you know, you can get IB tanked glass. You can get glass from Bedazzle, uh, a lot of different places. Um, FDA approved silicone O-rings. Um, the brass button connections and brass center post interchangeable top and bottom tank protectors um, you'll be able to get it into brass and different colors uh, coming soon and then it's got uh, the standard threading that's compatible with some other devices I believe it's 20 by 1 threading uh, and then obviously it's got that hard shell case that it comes with as well so what comes with this device let's do some close-up so first off you get the hybrid okay this is the hybrid in 18650 mode all right i showed it to you far out this is a close-up you've got these two tank shields i'll show you what that's all about in a little bit it's got a nice finish on it you've got some vents battery vents down here on the bottom and then you have the button on the bottom too we'll show that all to you close up so the that's 18650 mode so you get the 18650 tube and the atomizer you also have a 510 cap. Okay, 510 cap has um, the uh, adjustable um, positive connection in there as well. Then you get the 18650 tube. In addition to that, say, hey, come on, get out of here. Sorry, Frank, coming to visit. Um, the 18500 tube, same finish as the 18650 that I just showed you. That kind of lightly brushed uh, or machined, whatever you want to call it, titanium finish there. Now, um, let's show you the inside of the button. So, inside the button, you have a couple things that I want to point out. So, this is the magnet section. What you do is you have your battery. You take the, the red side of the magnet, that attaches to the battery. Line that up, push that into the tube, it pretty much stays on its own. Then you take the button and you thread it on there. No problem. Um, let's show you what the little button looks like. It's got the little Vape Syndicate logo on there. I'm not sure if that's gonna be standard on all the devices or not, but that's the little Vape Syndicate logo on the button. So we'll screw that on. It's magnetic, which means that because it's repelling the battery, you don't need to adjust for uh, battery length. You don't, you don't get any battery rattle, uh, as you can hear or not hear there, regardless of the size of the battery. Um, what does change with the size of the battery is the throw will change. So this is the throw with a Orptronic... Um, NCR battery. Very, very short. That's fired. That's not fired. Fired. 
not fired. I love that throw. Now, if you put an IMR, AWIMR18650 in there, uh, the throw will be a little bit longer. I think it goes up to about 1 16th of an inch. That's what Vape Syndicate was telling me. So, now, let's, before I get into the atomizer, I want to show you the mod portion of this first. So, I'm going to take the atomizer cap off. Okay. Now this is cool. So this is that bo this is the tank sleeve I was talking about on the bottom of the atomizer, okay? The tank protector. Keep that in mind while I put the rest of this down and show this to you. So the way this works as a mod is you, you know, technically, yeah, you can use it, you know, just put the 510 cap on there and use it as a you know, as a mod with a 510 cap. Or, if you want, you could use the Guardian feature. At least, I think that's where the name comes from. And you take this tank sleeve, you put the 510 um, cap inside, like so, and then thread it down onto the mod. So then what you have is you have a recessed 510 connection that will take up to a 22 millimeter atomizer with a built-in tank shield for you, okay? So it'll actually protect a good portion or all of the glass or plastic or whatever of your Genesis style atomizer um, with that titanium shield. It's pretty cool. So uh, this song is uh, called Geometric Progression. It's by the algorithm. Um, but yeah, so pretty cool. And like I said, any any atomizer up to 22 millimeter will fit right inside there. And uh, yeah, and it's got a built-in glass shield. You have on the atomizer. Hold on a moment. So as you can see, this is it. This is what it looks like naked, and then it covers up a good portion of the bottom when you put that tank sleeve on or the tank shield on. We'll screw this back in here, and you have the same thing essentially on the top as well. So when you put, so we'll we'll take the cap off here. And I'll show you underneath the hood in just a moment, but I wanted to show you this little feature first. So take the cap off. You see you got a little O-ring there and it's threaded. So we thread it on and you thread it down until the air holes line up with your wicks. Okay, so I got my wick there. Let's line that up nice. Where are you? There you are, lined up nice, nice. Okay, so once you got that lined up with your wick, then you take this second section here and you turn this. And this serves two purposes. One, it obviously it protects the glass and puts a titanium shield over the top section of the glass. And secondly, it threads down and locks the cap in place. And I, don't, I, I think that that's intentional, but that was actually the first thing that I noticed about it. So if for whatever reason, when you tighten it up, it's not, you know, when you tighten it up nice and snug, it's not quite lined up with the wick. You can actually loosen it up to where it is lined up with the wick and then tighten the second piece down and that tightens it down snug, holds it in place so that it's always, even though it's threaded, it's always lined up with the wick. So your air holes are always gonna be lined up with the wick there, okay? Another pretty cool feature. The only thing I don't like about that is just the aesthetics on the outside because you can see the threading there on the exterior. Um, but I think that the the the, the feature, uh, the functionality of the feature outweighs the fact that you can see the, uh, the threading there personally. That's my take on it. So now well, let's show you the inside of the top cap real quick. So we'll unscrew that shield and then unscrew the top cap. and show you the inside here. And as you can see, it's very, very tight in there. It's reduced significantly. The inside of the chamber itself starts where that threading ends. It's very, very short and it's very, very narrow 
I think it's about 18 millimeter across, maybe even less. And it's very, very short, like I said. Um, let's take a look at the Addy deck. So, first thing I want to point out here, take a look at this right here. So, remember how I mentioned that this is the first vented negative hole or negative uh, post on a uh, Jenny? So, inside this screw, there's actually a fill hole. See that? So you actually get air air coming out of that hole, and actually a little bit of juice because I tilted it too much, but you actually get air coming in and out of that hole that helps with wicking. So if you want to, you can actually plug up that larger hole, and you know if even if you're running dual coils, you can keep it fully plugged, and you still get air flow so that the air can escape the tank or air can enter the tank as the juice comes up out through that hole inside that negative right there see that and you can see that ceramic I was talking about right there and then you know I have this set up with a dual coil as you can see it's getting a little bit messy I need to do a dry burn been using it quite a bit this week though as you can tell very easy to set up um, it's uh, it does require an allen key it comes with the allen key for the negative screws but the, uh, the top screw is actually just a, a thumb screw. It's slightly knurled on the outside. It's got, like a, it's got like a light grip on the outside. So you can thread that down and thread down the two wires and trap them there if you want to set it up with a dual coil. I actually found it quite easy to set up dual coil. So, so yeah, and as you can see, you can get the glass in different colors as well. I got it in red. Um, pretty cool. So, yeah, it does come with plugs. It comes with red plugs, and I and actually, shame on me, I should have grabbed them to show you uh, everything that it comes with. So, it does come with two red plugs. So, if you want to set it up single coil with the two plugs in there and just allow the airflow through the, uh, the hole inside the vented negative screw, you can do that. So... Uh, and I am sure that the ceramic is replaceable. Um, I would imagine that Vape Syndicate will be carrying extra ceramics on the website eventually. Um, but the thing is, is uh, you know, I mean, it's not like it's not like one of the you know, GG products where you really have to, fi or or like a a killer or something like that where you're really playing with the ceramic. Like the ceramic just kind of stays there, so it's not something that I would envision. You know, I, I wouldn't imagine people are going to break it all that frequently. Um, you know, even though I'm kind of a clumsy person. All right, so there we got the wicks lined up, and then we'll thread that down. So, so yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of really cool features. It's really, you know, there was a lot of thought that went into this device. It has some features that I've never seen before on other stuff. Um, it's got a lot of things that are unique about it. And I really love to see that, you know, it, it innovative, um, you know, and interesting features without sacrificing performance, you know, the glass protecting uh, on there, um, you know, the vented negative hole. I think that's a great idea. So you can, you know, it's, it's not leak proof, but it's pretty damn close. Um, So a lot of really good features. I'm going to take another vape off of it, and then we'll talk about kind of pros and cons, how it vapes, etc. Hmm. As you can see, the vapor production is excellent, uh, but it's not super airy. Um, you know, it has the dual air holes. It's got the 1.2 over one air hole and then a 0.7 over the other. So it's a little airier. 
you know, I think it, it comes out to right like a one. I think total it comes out to like 1.35 or 1.4. So maybe a little airier than I like. But again, it's a dual coil though with airflow over both holes. So it you know that compensates for the um, you know the additional airiness with additional flavor and, and vapor production and, and warmth. So it even though it's a little airier a draw. It vapes heat and flavor-wise as if it were a tight draw, which is awesome. It's one of the things I like about Doc Dave's devices. Um, yeah, I'll take another pull. Hold on. Yeah, so pros and cons. Pros, super innovative, incredibly well-made, very durable, it's it's you know big and and chunky and uh and wide and tall but it's not heavy because it's titanium uh which is nice so it is a little bulky but it doesn't feel super heavy and clunky um because of the weight you know i actually compared this side by side to um uh a buddy of mine actually had a kts the the ggts clone uh, well, it's not exactly a clone, but it's similar to the GGTS, and they weigh exactly the same, even though it's that's much smaller and more narrow than this device. So, um, the negatives, couple negatives with this. This is the first batch, and I know that he's already uh, working out uh, the one negative that I had. I don't know if you could see this uh, when I show it to you up close, but I'll show you here. So on the air hole there it's got some burrs you can see that so the air hole needed to be deburred uh, deburred is d word <laughs> yeah um and then there were also a couple of smaller burrs on the inside here you can see of the uh the battery vent but again this is something that was, you know, is specific to the first five and, and ha has already been corrected for the production run. So, um, you, uh, you won't have to worry about that if you pick one of these up at ECC or get one of them off of this website. So, um, the other thing, when I did use an AW IMR, uh, I found the throw was a little bit long. Um, not a huge deal. I mean, I had to use my pinky knuckle and kind of jam it up in there, whereas the throw with it just slightly recessed and super short, you know, I can use the side of my pinky to fire it like so. But that's not a huge deal. Um, it is big. Uh, that doesn't bother me personally, but I know there are some people that like a more compact device. So, but that that's personal preference. Um, and the the threading on the top cap, I don't think is particularly aesthetically pleasing uh, when you have the tank protector threaded down all the way. But that's it, and it's all very very minor little stuff. The burrs already eliminated just something that I had on my device and won't be won't won't be there on the production um, you know covering up that threading maybe that'll some, be something that he does later on I don't know uh, and everything else is just personal prefer preference stuff some people like a longer throw I like a short throw um, you know some people like a smaller device or you know I, I actually like a large device sometimes I'm not real picky with the size of the the mods that I use sometimes I use small mods especially with drippers but when I use Jenny's um, you know, I, you know, I like a, sometimes I like a larger mod that's a little more heavy duty like this. Um, but the coolness, the, how well it's made and the features that this has, um, far outweigh, you know, the couple very little negatives that the, uh, that I experienced with the device. I mean, love the, the, the guards on the glass. I think that's awesome. Um, I actually used it as a 510 mod as well and put a Jenny on there and it covered almost the whole tank. Really, really cool. So you protect the glass tanks there. If you're someone who's a, you know, dropping your devices all the time, it's a great, it's great to use as a mod or as, as a hybrid. Um, you know, the flavor and the vapor production are phenomenal from it. 
Um, I recommend setting it up with dual coil personally. That's my personal preference, but you can set it up with a single coil. And that secondary air hole is so small that it's not really going to reduce the flavor by much at all. Um, you know, because you have a primary and then a secondary air hole for it. So it really is designed to be used with either single or dual coil. Um, and I just, you know, there I'm incredibly pleased with this device. Um, you know, and uh, I might catch some flack for this, but you know, I, I've, I've I've grown. Um, I've been wary of of expensive, you know, five hundred dollar uh, devices. Um, of late just because you know I had a very very bad experience with uh, with the titanium Zen um, initially I had a bad experience with the titanium BBM although he fixed the issue I had with the switch and that thing is a beast now um, so you know the titan I don't know what it is about titanium maybe it jinx and maybe it's a jinx maybe it's because it's less conductive I don't know but um, this device is awesome, though. It's spot on. Uh, I think it looks cool. It looks unique, has some unique features, has some innovative features. Um, it's almost leak proof. Not quite leak proof, but it's pretty damn close. I wouldn't turn it upside down, but if you knock the thing over for a few minutes, it's not going to spill juice all over the place. Uh, you know, if you have the plug in, like I was saying. And uh, yeah, and it performs fantastic, as you guys saw by the, you know, the the vapor uh, you can't see the flavor but you can see the vapor production i'm getting from it so there you go <laughs> nice cater it's not the size of your mod but the duration of your batteries that's just very true um so yeah there you have it that is uh my review of the guardian from vape syndicate uh definitely give it a thumbs up i think i went a little bit long on the review there but uh I, you know there's a lot going on there so there's a lot to cover and it's a really really cool device with a lot of cool features and i'm very very pleased with it and you know despite the high price tag i recommend it it's um I think it's worth it, you know, for the, like I said, for the extra features, the durability, um, you know, the fact that you get, you know, a mod and a hybrid and, and a couple battery tubes and, you know, you get, you get a good amount of stuff for your money. So, um, if you can swing it, it's a good device. So it's a $475 retail. T brat it is not cheap so um let's see we are gonna do a giveaway next from vape syndicate yes oh uh sorry ghost i just saw your question no you can't block off the hole but that's why i made that comment about how the secondary hole is so small that it doesn't really negatively affect the uh, the flavor, um, and I think that that's why I designed it that way with the air holes in different sizes. So if you set it up with a single wick over, uh, you know, by the 1.2 millimeter air hole, um, you know, you get essentially this almost the same performance you would as if um, there that 0.7 millimeter air hole were not there. So. Um, all right, so Vape Syndicate Juice. We're going to give away a 30 milliliter bottle of juice from Vape Syndicate. I'm going to refresh the room. I still got quite a few people here. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Through my rambling. Um, let's see here. Oops. And Lev. Lev. You want some juice from Vape Syndicate? Because you just won, unless you want to pass. So, Lev, I'm going to give you a little bit of time to confirm or deny whether or not you want 30 milliliters of juice for free from Vape Syndicate, uh, who I highly recommend. Not only is he making some... Uh, um, he can do 100% VG, Lev. Uh, I just would let him know that, it's 100, he, that you need 100% VG. 
because he can do custom blends. If you want. All right, very good. So what you need to do is you got to go to his website, vapesyndicate.com, which uh, Jedi is going to link again for you here in just a sec. Pick out the flavor that you want. Um, they're all very good. My personal favorites are throat yogurt and uh, uh, gorilla. Uh, no, God, not gorilla juice. Jungle fever, um, which is like gorilla juice but better in my opinion. But anyway, um, go to the website. Pick out the flavor that you want. You're gonna send me an email with the flavor, the nicotine level. Mention in there that you need 100% VG, please, just so that uh, it's in the email and I can send that on to, uh, to Vape Syndicate. And also, please include your shipping address in there as well. And here comes my email. There you go. Congrats, Lev. All right. Let's move on to the last review. We're going to talk about the Lava Gen. So the Lava Gen by John Boy USMC. Um, the yep, if you're in chat, you're in the contest, Taylor. Um, so the Lava Gen. So I'm gonna be honest. Um, even though one of the, the makers of this device is in the room. Uh, because I am always honest with my reviews, even though some people seem to think that I'm not for some reason. Um, I did not have high hopes for this device. I don't know if it was because it's plastic or because it's really, you know, it started as a cardo tank and it's got a drop in that turns it into a Genesis or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of like, I kind of went into it without particularly high hopes for the device, to be quite honest with you. Um, and. I have to say, I have been pleasantly surprised. So, uh, I, you know, we'll talk about that here in, in uh, just a moment. But so, the Lava Gen. This is the Lava Gen. This is a Lava Gen. They come in all different kinds of shapes and sizes. If you're familiar with the Lava Tank from John Boy USMC, the way that this device works is you take a Lava Tank and you get an extension tube with a hole in it and you get a drop in. I'll explain that in a little more detail here in just a moment. So, um, the if you have a lava tank already and you want to just buy the lava gen drop in, the lava gen drop in is seventy five bucks. If you want to buy the full unit, the lava tank and the drop in all together, it's one hundred and thirty bucks. Um, the device is. Uh, the drop-in portion is 304 stainless steel. The rest of it is, it really can vary wildly. Various different types of plastic, acrylic um, are used. The caps are a different type of plastic than the tube. Some of the caps are stainless steel. Some of the caps are titanium. So it really does vary quite a bit. Uh, there are a lot of different variations of the Lava Gen. This is an acrylic and plastic uh, tube and caps. And then obviously the 304 stainless steel uh, drop in with, uh, you know, with O-rings. Um, it has a 2.5 millimeter wick hole. It's a single, uh, coil, uh, 1.3 millimeter air hole. It's, uh, 18 millimeters in diameter, uh, or it's either 18 or 19. I think it's 18 millimeter diameter. And, uh, oh, thanks Darren. Have a good night. Um, and let me give you guys a link real quick. This will actually redirect you to their Facebook page. So this is, okay, 19 millimeter, thanks. That'll redirect you to their Facebook page, page if you wanna check it out. Um, they actually have a sale that's coming up this Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern time. So pay attention to that Facebook page. Um, 10 p.m. Eastern this Saturday. Check it out if you're interested in giving, getting a lava jet. So, let us talk about... Actually, you know what? First, I'm going to take a vape, and then I'll take autofocus off. 
so. <laughs> so, the Lava Gen up close, or a Lava Gen up close. I, the reason I keep saying a versus the is because there is so many variation. There are so many variations of this device. So, basically, the way this works, and this is one of the problems with doing a live review, and I apologize. So I'm really not going to be able to completely disassemble this thing uh, for you guys, but you'll still you'll get the idea. So you have your lava gen, okay? Basically. You start with a lava tank, okay? The lava tank is a cardo tank. You get the bottom cap, you get the top cap, and then you have a shorter plastic tube in the center that the cardo is going to slide up into. If you get the lava gen upgrade, you get this extended tube that has a 1.3 millimeter air hole in it right there. You can see it right here and then you also get this metal piece that drops in so you can see the o-ring that whole internal metal section with the post the portion with the o-ring on it right there which is the addy deck and then also the 510 connection down in the base that is all uh part of the drop-in okay um, the 510 connection on this, basically, the, w the way that this works, there's a couple different things that you can do to change the way that this sits on your atomizer. First of all, the positive post, as you can see, is threaded, so you can actually adjust the length of the 510 pin, or the positive pin there, uh, and also you can use that to control the length of the positive post on the inside of the atomizer, okay? Uh, another thing that you can do is once you have this device all set up and you thread it down onto your atomizer, you can actually slide the entire, you know, plastic portion, the, uh, the, the caps, um, you know, both the bottom, the top cap and the tube, you can actually slide the whole thing up and down a little bit. So if you screw this down onto a device and it doesn't quite sit flush, you can actually push it down and it'll slide down a little bit because you have a little bit of give on the inside uh, of the positive po or the positive um, post in there between the top of that and the inside of this top cap here. So let me show you the inside of this real quick. Get the top cap off. Top cap comes off pretty easily. I have it, you know, I, I lubricated it. It's, it's definitely on there snug. Um, if you don't lubricate it, it's actually a little tough to get off, but you put a little juice on there and it comes off easily enough. So on the inside here, you have your positive post, you have your fill hole, as you can see, you have your negative screw, and then you have the wick hole, which like I said, is 2.5 millimeter. Okay. Now the positive itself, and you can actually see it through the acrylic a little bit here and we'll get it at this angle so you can actually like i said you can actually adjust the height of this so what you can do is um it's got like it's like double threaded at the top here so you can unscrew this part and then you also have a uh, a thumb screw that you can unscrew as well to adjust the height of the um the positive post here and that'll also adjust the positive pin on the bottom here uh, so you have some flexibility there with getting it set up uh, like when I uh, initially put it in there I actually had a little bit of an issue with the top of my wick touching the um, that knurled ring that you see there and I was getting a little bit of a short on that so I actually just adjusted it up a little bit um, and I ended up pushing the wick down just a tiny bit too so I got a little bit more space there and now I don't have not having any issues with that um, but what you do is you actually set it up without this tube on here so you know the tube just slides right off you set it up on the addy deck with the 510 you know screwed into your your mod 
And, uh, you know, it's really straightforward. It's, it's just like set up just like any other Genesis. You have, um, you know, you have a slightly raised negative. So you see it's got that washer that it sits on, the screw screws into there. So the negative is actually not touching the Addy deck. The negative is pinched between that washer and that negative screw there. And then you can see where the wire connects to the positive in that little space, um, which I'll point out here with my little, so that little space right there that you can see. That's where the positive wire is connected, okay? Underneath that kind of double, uh, you know, you have the knurled th uh, screw and then you also have the, uh, the threaded screw on top of that. Um, so it's all fully adjustable. Pretty easy to set up. You know, I didn't have any issues with it. Um, I wouldn't recommend dry burning it to clean it with, I, actually, I'm not even gonna say I wouldn't recommend. If you need to dry burn it to clean it, take the, the plastic sleeve off. Genesis style devices get really hot when you do a dry burn to clean it. And you will most definitely melt the plastic if you dry burn a bunch of times with that plastic sleeve still on there. So don't put it on until you got all your shorts and everything worked out and everything's firing properly. Um, and then if you're going to clean it, take the plastic sleeve off of there and dry burn it with that not on there at all. Or else you're going to melt the tank, which is, you know, something that you probably would not want to do. Um, now, because it is plastic, you're not going to be able to use, um, you know, volatile liquids like, um, oh, you can pick up glass tubes for them also, says, uh, Pure Ecstasy. So, okay. I figured you could probably get them with all of the different types of tubes available from like IB Tanked and, um, you know, and Bedazzle and, uh. Um, Finiac and everything. So I guess you could get a glass replacement tube. With the standard plastic tube, um, you know, you're not going to want to use stuff like fluid, anything with like an anise-based juice. You don't want to use heavy menthols. Uh, you don't want to use heavy citrus juices in that as well because it can damage. Uh, it'll cloud and then eventually crack the tank, which you certainly don't want. So... Pop that guy back on there. Get it back on the mod. Ah, and the glass tubes are also available from Avid Vapor, according to Dino. Alright. Let me take another vape and we'll keep talking about this guy. Um, so let's talk about how this thing performs. Absolutely caught me off guard, I have to say. Um, you know, I, I don't know, I just, it's, it's, you know, it doesn't look fancy. I, get, I don't know, maybe just because I'm so used to looking at, you know, some of the crazy Genesis style stuff coming out and, uh, um, you know, stainless steel and brass and all kinds of you know, fancy higher end devices. Not that this isn't a high end device. This is a high end device. I just wasn't expecting it to perform as well as it does. It performs really, really well. Um, the chamber is very small. You know, I mean, you don't realize how small it is because you can see the whole thing, but it's only 19 millimeters on the outside. So the inside is like 17 millimeter and it's really short. There's not a lot of room for the air to circulate in there and for the vapor to cool. Um, and because it's plastic, it's not cold on the outside, which helps cool down the vapor, which causes vapor to cool down when you're using like a stainless steel cap Genesis, because the metal's cold, so the vapor cools off faster. But with this plastic, and I'm assuming it would be the same with glass, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure, but... Um, you know, at least with the setup that I have here, it, it stays very, very warm, uh, and the, and it has a lot of flavor, uh, especially for a single coil. Um, it wicks well. I 
I mean, the vapor production's good, and it's just a one. It's just one 1.3 millimeter air hole. So you know, it's a little airier than I like. But the reason that I don't like an airy draw isn't because I don't like. Um, is it isn't because I don't like the actual draw itself. The reason that I don't like an airy draw is because typically, the airier the draw, the less flavor you're going to get. But with this, you get really good warm sharp flavor even though it's got a 1.3 millimeter air hole which is a little bigger than than i would like and for especially for a single coil atomizer um you know the like i said the warmth and the flavor that i'm getting from it is absolutely top notch um you know right up there with any of the other really good quality genesis style devices that i've used so as far as the performance is concerned i couldn't be more pleased uh, it's really, really excellent. So, um, they are going for... So, if you have a lava tank already, it's 75 bucks for the drop-in and for the extension tube. Uh, and if for a full unit, it's 130 bucks. So, and I, I think it's worth it. It's really good. It performs really well. The flavor is excellent on it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, it, it, it really, you know, thanks, Dino. This thing kind of caught me off guard. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to perform as well as it does, and it performs really well. This is, I think, going to be, uh, you know, I wish I could say that I had, like, you know, devices that become a regular in my rotation. I don't just because I only use the stuff that I'm reviewing pretty much. Uh, but, you know, if I did, this would be in it. So, uh, you know, it performs, like I said, as well as anything that I've used, uh, you know, for single coil. I mean, I would compare this, the flavor and warmth on this, I would compare this to um, like a Hydra, which is, as you guys know, you know, I'm a kind of an Art of the Exhale fanboy, and the Hydra is one of my favorite Genesis atomizers ever. Um, uh, you know, I, I still think... Overall, I think I prefer the Hydra, um, just f aesthetics, personal preference uh, with the aesthetics and the size, um, but performance-wise, it's right on par. Um, and speaking of the size, that's one of the things I don't like about it is that it's very tall. Um, however, they are actually going to be coming out with um, Lava Gen Minis that will have um, a smaller juice capacity and they're gonna be a smaller, a shorter device overall. So, um, yeah, I mean, that will that will correct that, uh, you know, if, if that's an issue for you, like it is for me, if you like more a more compact Genesis um, that's a little bit shorter, you'll be able to get one from John Boy uh, USMC as well, because there's gonna be a mini Lava Gen. So, very cool. Um, I enjoy it very much. Let me take one more vape and then we'll, uh, we'll carry on. Ah, good stuff. So yeah, definitely a thumbs up on the Lava Gen. Um, and I was not expecting, like I said, I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it is. So... Um, let's see, what are we going to do next? We're going to do one more giveaway and then we're going to do some Q and A. So let's do a last giveaway of the night. This one's going to be from Boondock Vapes. Uh, and this is for a sample pack from Boondock, Va Boondock Vapes. It's 24 milliliters total, uh, four, six milliliter bottles. Uh, you get to pick the four flavors that you want. And, uh, hold on a sec. Let's see here. Oh, we still got a lot of people here. That's great. Thanks for sticking around, everybody. Um, let's see here. And who's going to win Boondocks Vapes Juice? It's going to be... Midnight's. So Midnight's, unless you want to pass to the next person, uh, Midnight's, you just won um, four six milliliter bottles from Boondock Vapes. Um, so just give me a confirmation 
in chat, please. Midnights. <laughs> All right, awesome. So Midnights, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Boondock Vapes website. You're going to pick out four flavors that you want. You're going to send me an email with the four flavors that you want, the nicotine level that you want. If you need a custom VGPG ratio, include that as well. And make sure you include your shipping address in the email as well, please. So I'm going to send you a message right now with my email address. So here it comes. There you have it. And there's my email. So just get that over to me when you can. If you want to check out the site now, uh, Jedi, if you could throw another link up, that would be awesome for Boondock Vapes. There you go. There's the link in chat for you, Midnight's. Congratulations. So um, we're going to do some Q&A. And uh, again, the reason why we do this is because with all the reviews and stuff going on over the two screens I'm using, I can't, um, I often miss stuff in chat. So hopefully, you know, if you save your questions for the end for me, I'm happy to, to answer any questions about any of the stuff that we talked about tonight. Uh, anything vaping related at all, non-vaping related, whatever, it's kind of open forum um, until we, you know, get through all the questions, so. Why is it so damn hot? I'm not really sure. That's a good question. We went from being nice and cool and almost fall to being incredibly hot today, but I think it's supposed to cool down a lot tomorrow, so. Um. Oh, yeah. You know what, Hellhammer? I, uh, I'm i sorry I didn't send you a PM. I totally forgot about it until you just sent me that, until you just sent that message. Uh, and I apologize. I'm glad you got a wicking properly, though. So, sorry about that. Um, Ingline. Missed the first part. Is that a mixed Versa or stainless steel? It is a... I believe it's a full stainless steel Versa in line. Um, if you want, I can open it up and check. You know, let me just see if I can tell from uh, without opening the package up all the way. Uh, it appears to be the it appears to be the all stainless steel one with the uh, the brass. Just the the button on the very end of the brass on the on the very end of the switch is brass. So. Um, all right, thanks for coming by, Home Pro. Uh, Dude Man, interested in the first Jenny. Is the Chobra a good starter? Um, for a starter Genesis, uh, that one's not bad. Um, I think the RSST is probably a better option. Uh, if you're looking for something that's going to be, you know, an inexpensive first Genesis to get you going. How long did it take me to grow my beard? I'm not, I'm actually not sure. I haven't been keeping track, B-Boy. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Jay Gator. Um, yes, uh, at Pure Ecstasy. That's actually what I'm using it on top of right now. So this is the, this is a Versa uh, 18350 with the Versa Dripper on top of it. Um, yes, thank you for coming by, Griff. Congratulations on the Pure. Um, how does the dry ice method work? I have no idea what that is. Dry ice method? Um... What wire do I use normally? I normally use Canthal, and uh, it depending on the device, I'll either use, um, you know, 28 or 30 gauge, or sometimes I use 0.8 millimeter flat ribbon. So, um, thank you for coming by, Tenzo. Oh. The 
This is Frank. Fred's actually sitting at the other end of the table staring at me, so... Um, where can you get the Versa Dripper? There is a list for the Versa Dripper, I believe, over on Vapor Wall. If Butters is still in the room, he might be able to answer that for you. I'm not sure if he's still here. Um, but you can also go to that, um, you can also go to his Facebook page and there's some information on there too. So... Oh, uh, yep, the the stainless steel U-Wick that I have in the Versa Dripper, that's 0.8 millimeter canthal on there. Um, so with the PGVG ratio, um, it really, you know, I mean... A lot of people have uh, issues, well not a lot of people, but some people have issues with PG like irritating their throat or irritating their sinuses. Um, you know, best thing to do is probably just get 50-50 and or get whatever the standard is for the particular juice that you're ordering. And if you find that you get like irritation of your sinuses or you find that you're having like uh, you know, throat irritation or something like that, then maybe try going to a higher VG. Um, but if not, you know, just stick with whatever the standard blend is for the juice uh, that you use. I actually used to have a VG uh, allergy, but I, I it went away, and now I can and now I vape, you know, just whatever. So, um, I haven't heard anything about the Fogger V2. I just saw it. I mean, it looks like it's kind of a, um, you know stealing some ideas from a few different devices it's like a weird cross between like a, a Fogati a GK MF and like a K-Fun so looks kind of interesting though favorite Alice juice um, all time quiet morning right now zombie apocalypse uh, let's see You're welcome. Thank you for enjoying the show. <laughs> or tell her saying that it's great. Yeah, and PG will give you a little bit more flavor too. Like if you go 100% VG, you may have to ask for extra flavoring in your juice um, because it does mute the flavor. So, yeah, the G2 Vazilla, I've heard amazing things about that. So, I actually have some G2 here, but not, I don't have any of that one. I've got uh, some drunk monkey here. Um, PG can be can give a little bit more throat hit, but most of the time the throat hit it has more to do with uh, the amount of nicotine uh, rather than the amount of PG. Uh, zombie apocalypse is like a, it tastes like a strawberry shortcake to me personally. Yeah, I mean, and you can still get really good vapor production from higher PG too. Like, actually, the juice that I have in this Vape Syndicate uh, Guardian is uh, 70 30 PG, 70% uh, PG, and 30% VG, and you can see the vapor production is still really good. You know, it's still pretty thick, so. Yeah, yeah, you can you can get huge clouds from 100% PG for sure. It's really, you know, the clouds, it's really more about your setup and how big the air holes are, really. So, you know, that's less about the the juice that you use, so. But yes, you're right, on average, VG does make bigger clouds. So. All right, cool. Well, 
Um, it's just about 10 o'clock, so I'm going to wrap things up for the night. Again, uh, no show next week. Sorry, guys. I will miss you all. Hopefully you miss me too. And uh, we'll see you in uh, in two weeks. And I'm, uh, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to review two weeks from now. It may be something that I get between now and next Wednesday. Or maybe something that we have here already. I've got a, quite a bit of backlog that I need to get through. So, um, But anyway, uh, thank you guys for coming by. I'm glad uh, you all came by. Congratulations to the winners. Thank you to the sponsors. And um, yeah, rock on. We'll see you in two weeks.